Jimmy? What a scoop! Welcome back to my dark corner of this I sick world. I hate when people talk during the movie. This week we ask the big question. What is the worst fourth part franchise killer? Superman 4, Quest for Peace? Boring. Or Batman and Robin? There's something about an anatomically correct rubber suit. The only film in which the Statue of Liberty flies back and forth across the screen? Or the only film to be written entirely in puns? Let's kick some ice. Enough monkey business. So this is where you hang out. Destroyed. Let's see how they square off. A day of reckoning is coming. Hero-wise, Christopher Reeve is the definitive Superman. He's trustworthy, he's helpful, he's loyal. George Clooney is in Batman and Robin. Chicks dig the car. This is why Superman works alone. Oh yeah, and him. I want a Robin signal in the sky, all right? Me too. On the villain front, Gene Hackman is clearly done giving a shit as Lex Luthor. A true genius like myself learns to seize the moment. Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy seems determined to erase any memory that she was ever an actress. I have spent my life trying to protect plants from extinction. And now you corrupt my research into some maniacal scheme for world domination. There's Captain Scratchy. <laughs> And of course, the governator. Yes, if I must suffer, humanity will suffer with me. Hey, at least you got paid. Wow. Elsewhere, Batman's toughest adversary is reduced to a grunting chauffeur. Gotham Observatory Bane. And step on it. And Superman comes face to face with that guy from Two and a Half Men. Oh, James. Oh, no. Also, we get Batgirl. And took the liberty to create something in your size. Suit me up, Uncle Alfred. Uh, Uncle designed this. Time to scream. Neither movie has time for science, as the population of Gotham can be frozen and defrosted without ill effect. Man. Everything the hard way. And Marielle Hemingway can not only breathe in space, but also appears to be falling. <laughs> Both films introduce previously unseen powers for their heroes. Superman's Great Wall Rebuildo vision. <laughs> and Batman's... without it. Oh, well, that's just depressing. I can respect your opinion. Sadly, I'm not good at rejection. In special effects terms, Superman features some of the shoddiest blue screen you will ever see. And saves money by reusing the same flying shot over and over and over. While Batman has this embarrassingly bad Little Shop of Horrors knockoff. Once you have frozen mankind, these babies will overrun the globe. And magic beans. Good babies. Grow for mommy. But what matters is story. Not good. Script. Tedious. Superman's story was partly crafted by Reeves himself. I know I'm forbidden to interfere who insisted that Superman tackle nuclear arms proliferation. Now darn it, Clark, why are you so stubborn? Very laudable. I'm going to rid our planet of all nuclear weapons. Not sure about how it's handled. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lex Luthor attaches Superman's DNA to a missile, which Superman hurls into the sun, inadvertently creating... <laughs> The Star Child from 2001 A Space Odyssey. That this happens at all is odd. Destroy Superman now. 
that he's born fully clothed is baffling. The computer inside will leave enough material to maintain the high moral standards that I've always subscribed to. Only he can take out Superman. <laughs> And if you think Superman being scratched to death is silly, wait until you see Nuclear Man's weakness. He gets his energy from the sun. Without it, he's like you at night. Useless. A solar-powered bad guy should not be this hard to beat. Especially since they chase round the Earth. Half of which will be in darkness. Hey, stop! Stop! That's enough! The plot for Batman and Robin is basically this man wants to save his dying wife. This woman wants to save the planet. A proposal showing how Wayne Enterprises can immediately cease all actions that toxify our environment. But fortunately, both are stopped by a billionaire playboy. My pig headed. There is a little more to it than that. Freeze wants to freeze the Earth. First, Gotham. And then, the world! Poison Ivy wants plants to rule the Earth. A chance for Mother Nature to start again. Naturally, they team up, given their wholly compatible goals. I hope Mr. Bean can swim! Take that pot plant off the windowsill and put it in the freezer. Watch it bloom. Who is this nutball? The question isn't which film is worse, it's how was either made? How oh, indeed. But if I had to pick one, I'd say Batman and Robin is worse. I can't believe it. I know. Superman is just as bad. Jeez, what a jerk. But its budget was slashed by 20 million and its runtime reduced by three quarters of an hour. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be very good news. Admittedly, Joel Schumacher was under pressure to make Batman and Robin more kiddie friendly, but in the end, he left this sort of thing in. <laughs> while Superman had the sense to cut this sort of thing out. <laughs> chose Batman and Robin, but what's your pick for the worst superhero sequel of all time? Let us know in the comments below, check out our other reviews and don't forget to subscribe for new reviews every Tuesday. Louder, come on, sing, 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 come on, yes, come on, louder.